Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. He kept his secret because it would make him a good Catholic. Or at least that's what Father Ray Tachira would tell J.A. after he was sexually abused. J.A. marks the 78th victim to file suit against the Archdiocese of Agania. Now 40 years old and living in Oregon, he's made his long-kept secret public. According to court documents, the abuse started on his seventh birthday. He was cleaning the ass in parish with his grandfather when Father Ray Tachira told him he had a gift for him at the rectory. It's there the priest gave him a soda and told him to sit down. Documents state that's when the older man made unwanted sexual advances. Although J.A. tried to brush it off, the priest continued, taking off the boy's shirt and fondling his nipples, before then taking off his shorts and fondling his private area. Quote, I'm a friend, so don't worry, I won't hurt you, end quote. The priest finishing the act by giving the crying boy $20 and telling him to keep the secret to be a, quote, good Catholic. Later that same year, during the Aston Fiesta, J.A. alleges he was raped. While bringing a plate of food to the priest, he was given a soda. The boy cried as the priest then instructed him to bend over. The boy begged for him to stop, but the priest eventually penetrated the young boy. The priest, he recalled, saying, quote, Don't worry, my boy, it won't hurt. I'll make sure I put a lot of coconut oil, end quote. The abuse lasted from 1984 to 1987. J.A. reported being sexually molested and raped more than 100 times. J.A.'s filing comes as a surprise considering his attorney, David Lujan, advised the court of ongoing settlement talks with Hope and Healing Guam. Lujan was anticipated to file a motion to stay or suspend the case in anticipation of out-of-court settlement with the third party. Last week, however, Lujan advised the court he wouldn't file a motion to stay until he received the church's financial documents, including including the church's insurance policy and audited financial statements. Hope and Healing Guam declined to comment on the issue. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.